Now, there are a couple other shapes, one of which you might have seen before, the other one you, I, I guarantee you haven't. We're going to talk about in section 13.2, ellipses and a hyperbola. Now, an ellipse is kind of like a circle, but it's not exactly a circle. You ever go to the, the gym and you see those, those big round, like they're usually blue or gray, those exercise balls? And they're, they're pretty much, it's a sphere actually, but if you look at it from the profile, it's a circle, right? Now I'm a pretty big guy. If I sit on one of those circles, is it still going to be a circle? No, no it's going to go, right? And it's going to kind of smush out the sides. And, well, I'm, it's going to have like a shape in the middle, but ignore that. So, and, and it's going to be completely flat on the bottom. But if you ignore the completely flat part, it looks kind of like an ellipse. An ellipse looks very much like a squished circle. It's what would happen if you took your cone, remember those, those cones we had? And you didn't slice it straight across, you slice it diagonal. You're not going to get a circle, you're going to get an elongated circle. That's where we get this ellipse from. So an ellipse looks a lot like an elongated circle. So we'll talk about that one first. So here's an ellipse that's centered around 0, 0. These are my stewie heads. <laughs> I missed my marks. There we go. That's an ellipse, or very, very similar to an ellipse. It looks kind of like an oval. It's a, it's a smash circle. It's a circle that's elongated in one direction. It's either elongated lengthwise or heightwise. Now, we have a couple letters to signify where this crosses the X and the Y. You see, with circles, we cross at, at the center of 0, 0, the same number at all four points, right? Because it's a circle. It goes out the same distance in every direction. Ellipses don't. If our ellipse is centered at 0, 0, we go out, sure, a certain direction in Y and a certain direction in X. We call these points, according to the X coordinates, A and negative A, B and negative B. Now here's how we associate this with an equation. Here's the equation for ellipses. <coughs> Does that look familiar? Yep. Mm -hmm. X squared in every shape that we have, uh, parabolas, circles, hyperbolas, ellipses. Does that look familiar? That's not in parabolas, but it sure is in circles. Does that look familiar? Yep. Mm -hmm. Right there, that is a circle so far. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. That's a circle. Here's what makes this different than a circle. You still have an x squared, you still have a y squared, you still have a plus in the middle of it. What's different is that these two things are being divided by a squared and b squared, respectively. Now, you're going to find this out in just a minute, so I'll give you a, a hint first. In order to be an ellipse, these things have to be different. I, I'm going to prove this to you on the formula right now. Okay, look at the numbers A and the numbers B. Notice how A is given by the number that's associated with X. Are you with me on that? And B is given by the number that's associated with, with Y. Okay, we got that. What would happen if these were the... Look, look at the board. You've got to get this. What would happen if these are the same number? If these were the same number, this would go out the same, and this would go out the same. What shape would you have? Circle. Yeah, circle. So ellipses and circles are different only by having these different numbers here. Okay, if these were the same numbers there, you'd have a circle. Do you get me? This is the elongation along x. This is the elongation along y. If those things are different, then you have an ellipse. If they're the same, then you have a circle. So are ellipses and circles really different formatically? No, not really. They're, they're the same exact equation, except that these numbers are different for ellipses. All right, so it's a very, sim a very similar idea. We typically have this equal to 1 because we want to make sure that we can identify these things. That's why they look a little bit different than the circle equations do. Other than that, they're very similar. Would you like to, to give a couple of these a try? Okay, before we do, let me make a couple notes so you, you're, you're going to be able to refer back to this. The x-intercepts are given by plus or minus a.
How we know that? Well, it's the number right under x. That number under x is associated with our x-intercepts. The number underneath y is associated with our y-intercepts. So y-intercepts are given by plus or minus b. And lastly, these, this one right here is centered at 0, 0. You know how I can tell? Look at Is anything being added or subtracted to x? No. Anything being added or subtracted to y? No. It's going to have the same exact situation as a circle. It pretty much is a circle. It's just elongated in one direction. So this thing is centered at 0, 0. Could we move it around? Could we shift it? Yeah. Exactly the same way as we did before. We're going to try two examples and we'll start here uh, next time with uh, some shifts. Okay, the first thing you have to be able to do with these formulas, with these equations, is be able to determine whether they're parabolas, whether they're circles, whether they're ellipses or hyperbolas. First thing, is this thing a parabola? No. Parabolas won't have a y squared. Is this thing a circle? No. It looks really similar though, right? Look at it. I mean, it's got an x squared, it's got a y squared, it's got a plus. What makes this thing not a circle? The bottom. The bottom. Why, why the bottom two? Because they're different. They are different. If they had been the same number, look at it. If they had been the same, that's a circle right there. That's definitely a circle. Why, why can we see this? Well, let's go ahead. Let's look at our, our x and our y intercepts. This is definitely an ellipse. Can you tell me where the center is going to be on this? Good. Zero, zero. It's not being shifted at all. There's nothing being added or subtracted to the x and the y. There's no parentheses there. So our center is at zero, zero. We're going to find our x-coordinates, our x-intercepts, and our y-intercepts. What are they? 4, 16, or 2? What do you think? 2. It's very much like the radius, isn't it? Look at that. That's a squared, right? That's a squared. So if we're going to... If we're treating this as a squared, then our, our x-intercepts are a, or the square root of whatever number you have here. Notice that you could write this x squared over 2 squared. True. Mm -hmm. yeah. y squared over 3 squared equals 1. That fits the formula of our ellipse. So if a squared says that a is our x-intercepts, 2 squared says that plus or minus 2 is our x-intercepts. And the 3 squared says, well, 3 is your, plus or minus 3 is your y-intercepts. You still so far so good on this? Mm -hmm. Can you graph it? Yep. Yeah, let's try it. <laughs> Just like a circle, you're going to start with the center. Where's the center at? Zero, zero, zero. So we're, we're right there at the center. Now, I know I use the words x-intercepts and y-intercepts, so please, please watch up here for a second. If your center is not at 0, 0, then what this means is you go 2 on the x-direction and 3 on the y-direction, no matter where your center's at. Okay, in this particular case, since we're centered at 0, 0, yeah, it's going to be our x-intercepts and our y-intercepts. Because it says you're going to go to the right two spots. You're going to go to the left two spots. You okay with the left and the right there? It's the number that's associated with the x. You take the square root of that. It's telling you how far to go along the x. How about the y? How far are we going to go? By the way, let me ask you this question right now. Could you immediately tell, just by looking at the equation, which direction the ellipse is going to be stretched out on? Just by... What, what's that tell you? Which direction is it going to be stretched out more? Is it going to be along the x or along the y? y. That, that number's bigger. That means you're stretching out along that particular axis more and more. So 
that's another way to say if those numbers were the same, you'd be stretching out the same exact way, right? It'd be a circle. So here we're saying, oh, we're stretching out more along the y-axis. It's going to be one of these tall ellipses, not one of those long ellipses. So since we have our, our spots here, 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 and here, we can make our ellipse. We can try to make our ellipse. <laughs> that looks horrible. But that's the idea. We're taking our equation, we're finding the spread on the x-axis, or in the x-direction, if we're not centered at the origin, the spread along the y-axis, and whatever our center is. Okay, our last example for today. Now that looks a little weird. That looks a little weird. Well, let's go through the process. Let's identify what type of shape this is. Firstly, is it a parabola? No. That looks nothing like a parabola. Is it a circle? Yes. yes. Is it a circle? Yes. It's got a square, doesn't it? In both the x and the y, it's got a plus in the middle. However, are the numbers the same? If the numbers were the same, you'd have a circle. But I, I want you to see this. What defines an ellipse for us, what makes things easy, is that we have a 1 over here. Can you make that into a 1? Yes. And I don't mean subtract 99. Okay, we don't <laughs> want to do that. How do you make that into a 1? If you do that, divide by what? How do you make 100 oh. into 1? You divide by 100. No. So we're going to divide by 100. But that means I've got to do it here, and I've got to do it there. Can you simplify those fractions? Mm -hmm. Okay, tell me everybody, what does this fraction simplify as, please? 2 over 2. How much? 2 over 25. Okay, so I've still got x squared. That's going to be 25. Number 4 over 100, that's 1 over 25. Are you okay on simplifying that fraction? Okay, plus, what's 25y squared over 100? Tell me what that is, please. 1 4. Good. Of course, you mean y squared over 4. <coughs> Equals how much? 1. Does that look a little bit better? Yeah. Can you identify, look at the board, can you identify that if those numbers were exactly the same, when I divided by 100, I'd get exactly the same numbers here, mm -hmm. and I would have a circle? So how can you immediately tell whether something's an ellipse or a circle? They both have squares, they both have pluses, but the numbers are the same for circles, and they're different for ellipses. How many people feel okay with that idea? All right. Would you be able to tell me the center? Zero, 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 zero. Yeah, there's nothing being added or subtracted. We haven't shifted this. Would you be able to tell me the, the distance we're going along the x direction? How much? Plus or minus 5. Not 25? No, because you're doing square. Ah, so along the x direction we're going plus or minus 5. How much uh, someone on the right hand side along the y direction? 2. 2. two. Good, plus or minus 2. Now, is this going to be an ellipse spread this way along the x or this way along the y? Along the x. That number's bigger. That means we're spreading out more along the x and along the y. So the x direction, I'm not even going to draw this, the, the x intercepts. I'm just going to put this on my, my graph. I know that this right here can be written as 5 squared. This right here can be written as 2 squared. Since this is associated with our x, it says from 0, 0, I'm going to be going plus or minus 5. That's 5 to the right. That's 5 to the left. That gives us our spread along the x. Since this was a 4, I know that I could write that as 2 squared. That means that we're going to be going plus or minus 2 from the center of our ellipse. That's up 2 and down 2. Quick show of hands, how many people feel okay getting that far on these? Now draw your ellipse. That's pretty good for me. <laughs> so with just a little bit of work, we can actually be very accurate on these shapes. That's all we're going to be able to do on that thing is draw an ellipse about like that. Do you feel okay with circles and ellipses? Yep. We'll start on one of these examples next time. I'll show you how we can shift it around. We'll talk about hyperbolas, make those things up, and that will be our class.